pull up, pull up. That's going to be saying pull up, pull up a lot. G'day everyone and welcome back to the Warthog Project. Uh, for those that are new here, this is my homemade A10 Warthog flight simulator. If you have any questions or you want to know anything about it, please check out my website at thewarthogproject.com. Uh, all the panels and everything, all the designs, most of everything you see here is free to download and make yourself. Today's video, we're just going to go through an update, some of the things that I've changed around the cockpit recently and we'll throw in some flying footage as well. Alright, one of the minor changes is these mirrors are 3D printed. You can see that they are just mirrors. Uh, they don't really serve a purpose other than looking good. Uh, I'm still debating whether to keep it as a mirror surface or have it as a um, just a black gloss piece of plastic in there or something. Most of the time I sort of bend them out of the way, but it, its main purpose was to hide that gap in the join there. So, and plus it just looks cool. In theory, if I got an another section of screen and put another projector here, you'd be able to look in that and see what was behind you, but I don't think I'm gonna go that far because I think VR is the future. Uh, one of the other things that I've changed is the HUD. So you can see that I made it a little bit larger. You probably can't tell, but if I put side by side now what the old one looked like, uh, I redesigned it. It's not 100% accurate, but it's a lot more accurate than the other one was. And dimensionally, again, I'm not claiming it's a replica. I, I couldn't make it a full on exact size replica of an A10 because the A10 one wouldn't fit here. It's, it's huge, it's about this long. Added a little bit more detail down here. That's just a clear bit of plastic. I will replace that with a green bit of plastic later on. Uh, but I added some bolt detail and made it look a bit more realistic. As always, that is now free to download in the website in the link. Uh, another one of the changes that I've made that for some, some reason I've missed on the last one was uh, the gimbal. So I replaced the Warthog gimbal with a Verpal Mongoose and a Verpal extension. Uh, night and day compared to the... Oh shit, I forgot I was flying. Uh, night and day compared to the Thrustmaster plastic gimbal. It feels awesome. Um, I still have to tweak it. I know there's a, lots of adjustments you can make. It feels a little bit springy to me, sort of... That's only because of the long extension, so I probably just need to change the cam or tweak the springs. I haven't got around to that. I think it comes with three sets of different springs, and I've just left it standard and bolted it in. I didn't bolt it to the floor because I didn't want to add a longer extension, um, so I just raised it off the floor about a couple of inches. I was considering adding another extension on the bottom and bolting it truly to the floor, but I don't really think it makes much of a difference, and it, it feels awesome like that in the middle. The best thing was I ordered it, and it was in my hands two weeks later. That was pretty good. The other major updates that I've had is PC based. You can't see it, it's right there. That's the one computer that's running this whole setup. I'll throw up some photos on the screen, but the biggest update was, I was running a 1080 Ti, it's now a 3080 Ti. Paid, I paid an obscene amount of money for it. It wasn't scalper prices, but it's still more than I've ever paid for any part of a computer. I justified it to myself only because I've been waiting over a year now and the prices still haven't gotten reasonable. Uh, so I changed the graphics card and because my previous graphics card was water cooled, I threw a water cooling block on it and then I changed all the hard tubing back to soft tubing because hard tubing looks really cool but I never see it. It's tucked away in the corner, it's glasses facing the wall and soft tubing is heaps easier to work with. One of the other awesome additions is there's a bar fridge in the room now so I only have to walk it that far instead of the kitchen to get a beer. Please ignore what's in it at the moment. That's like the leftovers of the New Year's party. It's a weird mix and match. I'll restock that to more suitable stuff later. Uh, one of the other additions is, so I mounted a second monitor up here. Well, actually, it's what is it, a fifth monitor? <laughs> but there's another, just a cheap little LG monitor up there on a swing arm. Right now, it's connected to a HDMI switch, so I can switch that to that. It just makes it a lot easier trying to fix errors in this screen when it's not behind the panel. The end game is there's gonna be a second PC in here. I'm gonna do a little mini ITX build that's gonna be for streaming so I can take the workload off this one. And then when I'm flying, I can just look up and see this chat and that sort of stuff on Twitch. Oh, that also reminds me about that that I made there. So they're not my design, but they're free to download on Thingiverse. I'll post a remix that I did to warm out them. And I will, again, if you go to the warthogproject.com, the nameplates I 3D printed, they will be available for download. I'm still 
deciding whether to leave it on the wood like that. It looks pretty good, but it's a bit boring. I think what I'm probably going to do is do something like um, like these. Probably do that one there. So just sort of make the back of it grey and have it come a bit higher with the um, tactical command and the the blue stripe on the top of it. I think that'll look heaps cooler. I might even do another one there. I might even do a grey one there and a green one in that corner. That might look pretty cool. Things on the to-do list. I still need to add the magnetic switch for the anti-collision lights and I'll, I'm also debating whether to hack up the Thrustmaster throttle to chuck a magnetic switch in the EAC. I'm still hunting a bricked one of them. If anyone's got one that's broken for parts, please let me know. I'll buy it off you. A couple have reached out to me but it's fallen through so far and I haven't got one. I just don't really feel like hacking up one that's working perfectly fine, you know what I mean? I'm probably going to remove the whole thing, make a new case for it so it matches the rest of the cockpit and extend the um, levers a bit so I want one that I can properly angle grind to pieces. Uh, I am working on another thing at the moment so I'm going to put just uh, probably a couple of, drill a couple of holes in here and have two three millimetre LEDs that will be the position lights. I do that because I obviously don't have the external view on when I'm flying and I can't tell when the external lights are on or off. So I'm just going to put some little LEDs here that will just be dim enough to sort of flash green and red like the real ones would in the strobes on the screen so I can tell. That's actually a lot harder than it sounds. I'm trying to do the Arduino code to get these lights to function per what the game lights are doing. And I've been struggling with it for weeks, but I'm still working on it. So once the switches are done, the magnetic switches and the lights are done, I'm sort of out of ideas. Drop in the comments if you think there's anything else I should add, but it's looking pretty much like it's done. Oh, I did want to reprint the canopy breaking escape knife thing. That's pretty poxy, but I'll do that. I still need to do the parachute containers, and I'm also hunting some realistic looking seat belts. What we might do now is I'll just add some flying footage from the Twitch stream. If you haven't caught me on Twitch yet, please have a look, because I'm flying this thing a lot lately, so if you want to catch me live and you want to ask me questions live, or you want to come fly in a DCS server with me, please do. It's great fun. I'm just gonna program a new target in which was four four three eight one five two northing zero three nine zero eight zero two nine easting all right make sure we are at flaps taxi lights apus off pitter heats on any collision and lights to steady. There is an F-16 taken off right there. Oh no, it's an F-5. Let's take it. I think the stream's back to normal now. I think it was just, what the hell was that? Just an F-16 taken off on the taxiway, through the grass. Gear up. Flaps up. Laser arm, gun arm, master arm. TGP. We will uh, turn off our external lights, so our TGP to our target area. I might just plug them as I see them. That there can cop a laser rocket right now. And then we can bank away. It should explode very shortly.
There's that rocket. There it goes. There's some guy out in front's got some pretty severe damage. He's got some problems. It's like he's coming back in for another pass though. He's like, tis but a scratch. There he is, hiding in there. I wonder if we can plug him with a rocket. Oh, somebody else got him before I got the chance. I'll just do a quick guns run on whatever's left down there. I can't actually see what it is, but... It's about to get a whole bunch of hurt. Oh no, I won't give him a gun because he'll sh trip me up. You can have a rocket. Kaboom. In hot with guns. Altitude. Where is he? He's in there somewhere. That's him just there behind those trees. It sucks to be you right now. on fire. That's all the targets in this area done, so let's move to target area two. Here we go, what's that? That is a Shulka. Oh, he's a bit of a threat. I'm going to nail him right now. With a Maverick. Oh, he's having a look at me already. This might go balls up. How far away is it? 10 miles. That um, that should hit that Maverick. That was a pretty solid lock. We just need to put the ground between us and the target area, which we have. Whack him with a Maverick. Rifle. And then we will grab a rocket and we will hit the Shulka with a rocket. The Maverick will hit for sure. Now I've said that I've jinxed it. There's the Maverick. I don't think the rocket hit. I think the rocket went crazy. I'm gonna fire another one. Where would the target go? Oh yeah, there he is. He's um, having a look at me now. Gotta start banking away. That rocket should hit. There it goes. 
It's a BTR. Alright, so the BMP, BTR will cop a rocket, the BMP will cop some guns. Lasers on. Rocket loose. Guns. Might go a bit higher and get a nice. is a long way away but we will give it a shot we'll get a bit closer what are we two and a half miles we'll get to about 1.5 and we'll give it some juice No escaping that, my friend. Got him. <laughs> so do you. Oh, I've accidentally marked that. Have I? No, I need to go waypoint, steer point. Which is the target. We're going to change that to 4403. 844 Northing 039 Easting It's our new target area which is just over there On the other side of that feature We'll sort that, slew that to our target What are they? What are these things here? Are they SAMs? They are SAM. No, they're um, Amtraks so just a truck. We're here. Let's give him some guns. Oh, we're very steep. This might be a ridiculous thing to do, but we're going to do it. He can have some. He can have some. Four four zero four four two one Northing zero three nine two zero seven zero six Easting it should be pretty close to me. It is TGP. Uh, slew that to my target. It's just over here somewhere. We can have a Maverick. My last one. No Mavericks left. What do we got? Bombs and only 140 rounds of gun left because I've been giving it really long bursts. Kaboom! Alright, we got him with guns. Out of guns. Thirty nine hundred pounds of fuel left, one rocket, one bomb. What's shooting at us? See the, the only problem with this setup is I don't have the um helmet mount sight. It's so easy in, in VR to be able to look and oh Oh, he got me. How am I looking here? Nah. 
Oh, I am bailing out. What's going on here? It crashed. Well, there you go. Look at that. I shot, got shot down and DCS crashed on me. That's the second time DCS has um, crashed hard on me lately. Yeah, it was the SAM that got me. I don't know what it was, but it was one one missile hit me and took both my wings off, so it was not recoverable. Alright, so that brings us to the end of this video. Thanks heaps for watching. Please um, like and subscribe and do all that jazz. Uh, make sure you come follow me on Twitch or come and have a look at if you're interested. And again, if you have any questions, please go to the warthogproject.com or throw them in the comments below and I'll answer them when I can. Thanks heaps, legends. I'll see you next time.